Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we have major breaking Avatar The Last Airbender news to discuss. A very well sourced leak is now reporting on brand new information about the two upcoming Avatar The Last Airbender movies. There are two, and it is very exciting. Let's jump right into things. Now this major breaking news comes from a very good source in the Avatar community, that is Avatar News. If you want to give them a follow on social media, I would highly recommend it. They had around 90% of the casting reveals for the Avatar Netflix show. They got almost every they got every single one they reported correct. They are well sourced. They have real information. This is not some 4chan or some Reddit. This is a, an incredibly well-regarded leaker and reporter in the Avatar community. So when he reports something, it is very safe to say it is accurate. Now, of course, that doesn't completely mean it's true, but I trust them and I think we should take this news very seriously. It has been over two years, or almost two years, since Avatar Studios was announced to be in development by the original creators of the show. Avatar Studios, for those of you who do not know, is a brand new department in Nickelodeon that is headed by Mike and Brian, the creators of Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, that is going to be creating animated Avatar content, movies, shows, short content online and on Paramount+. Plus. They are going to oversee the franchise and build it out into something major, a large, sprawling universe of shows and movies. When it was originally announced in February of 2021, they confirmed that movies and shows would be in development, with the first project being an animated feature-length film. Well, now, a couple years later, we have information on what those films are going to be. This is from Avatar News, and the first two movies that Avatar Studios is going to be developing in there that are in development right now is a prequel to Avatar The Last Airbender and a Zuko-centric movie. These are two separate upcoming theatrical movies that are going to release in theaters and on Paramount Plus, Netflix, uh, Nickelodeon's uh, subsidiary company's streaming service. This is major news. Now, the prequel is not necessarily an Avatar The Last Airbender prequel with characters from that show, but it is going to be a show that takes a movie that takes place before the events of that show. So it could be a movie talking about the Hundred Year War. It could be a movie talking about an Avatar before Aang. It could be a movie about the time leading up to the war and leading up to the time where Aang gets trapped in the iceberg. There is a lot of room for them to work with, but we do have confirmation through this that it is not, it is not going to be a sequel to Avatar The Last Airbender. It is not going to be a Legend of Korra movie. It is going to be a prequel to the events of Avatar The Last Airbender. Airbender. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And take a look at the join tab if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me. It is all very much appreciated. The other reveal that I mentioned before is the second movie. A Zuko movie is going to be taking place. Some part of Zuko's life is going to be covered in this film. Zuko, of course, if you guys have not watched the show or you need a refresher, is the son of Fire Lord Ozai, the brother of Azula. He was banished from the Fire Nation and had to capture the Avatar to regain his honor. He goes through probably one of the best character arcs in any TV show or movie ever throughout the original show, and his backstory and the rest of his life is continuously fleshed out in the comics and then eventually in The Legend of Korra. There is an interesting bit of timeline stuff they could do with Zuko. He, of course, becomes Fire Lord at the end of Avatar The Last Airbender when Aang defeats Ozai. We get a little bit of his of, of what he does after that show in the comics, finding his mother, dealing with Azula, dealing with the relationship between the Fire Nation and the Earth Kingdom. There's a lot of Zuko's life as Fire Lord that they could cover. There is a lot of time, there's decades, where we don't have a ton of concrete information as to what is going on in the Avatar world between the events of Avatar Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. If I had to guess as someone who has followed the franchise very closely, I think the Zuko movie is going to come when he is Fire Lord, it's going to come after Avatar Last Airbender. That is a guess. 
the reason that is my guess is because ATLA does a very good job of fleshing out Zuko's backstory. We basically know his entire life story up until the events of ATLA. So to go back and retread any of that wouldn't really make a ton of sense. And it, it lines up with what Mike and Brian have said in the past about not wanting to retell stories. They were asked a bunch of times about the comics in previous years about, oh, would you ever consider making shows out of them? This is before Avatar Studios, of course, so circumstances have changed, but they're very emphatic about saying we have told these stories we have told the stories we want to tell so I don't think they're going to go back and retell things that we saw in flashbacks about Zuko the Zuko movie is probably if I had to guess going to be something that takes place after ATLA and after what we have seen from the comics if you guys have not read the comics by the way they are incredible. I would highly recommend picking them up. You can pick them up in a variety of formats. They are great. You get to hear what happened to Zuko's mom, the biggest cliffhanger of the original show. So I don't think that is going to be covered in the movie either. Although if they were going to tell any comic story in the form of a movie, it would probably be that. So that is the big news we have. It is not official yet, but the fact that it has been able to be leaked out tells me that in the next coming weeks or months, we will probably see official announcements regarding Avatar Studios. There have been some rumblings over the last couple months that San Diego Comic-Con this summer is going to have an Avatar Studios presence. That is not official, but that is some of the some of the things we've read, some of the tea leaves that are being read by members of the community as to when we could see some big blowout information for Avatar Studios. So this is awesome. Two movies pretty much confirmed, even though not confirmed, about what Avatar Studios is going to be doing very soon. These movies are probably a couple years old off as Avatar Studios was created about a year ago, maybe almost two years ago by now, and the official review was February of last year. So it remains to be seen how far along these films are, but it is very exciting that we are getting this information. If you're an Avatar fan, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section below. Are you excited about a prequel movie and a Zuko movie coming soon? What other movies and shows would you like to see them do in the near future? Let me know down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss any brand new breaking Avatar The Last Airbender news. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next